Install the glue gun. Push the metal piece and ensure the teeth of on the pushing block is downward. And then insert the pushing block from the front. Lift the glue lock, put the glue in it and then lock it. Polish or clean the dolly and panel. Check whether the button of the dolly is flat or not. Polish the surface with sandpaper. And then use clean cloth to wipe it. Clean the surface of the panel. Apply the glue open the cover. Slightly pull the trigger to extrude a little glue onto a clean board. Use a little stick to mix it. And then apply the mixed glue on the bottom of the dolly. Stick the dolly onto the panel. Press the dolly vertically. Do not move or rotate the dolly during adhesion. It is suggested to use a chunk to press it. Wait 24 hours until the glue fully solidified. Cut the testing area after the glue solidified. Use the cutter to cut the edge of the dolly. Make sure the paint layer is cut through to its substrate. Clean the dust. Press the button of power switch. Anti-clockwise turn the pressure relief valve to its on position. Press the actuator handle to its button. Press the button of power switch again to zero the tester. Pull up the quick coupling. Put it in the head of dolly. Clockwise turn the pressure relief valve to its off position. Slowly press the pump handle. At the same time the quick coupling would pull the dolly moving up. There is the progress bar of pull off power increasing rate on the bottom of the screen. The bar would become longer if the pump handle is pressed faster. If speed is more than 1 MPa, as the progress bar would become red. Please take a little pulse until the bar is shortened. After the dolly is forcibly pulled apart from the substrate. The mixing value in the process would display on the screen. Press the button of save to keep the data. Loosen the quick coupling and remove the dolly. And press the button of power switch again to zero the tester. When the power is low, insert the cable to a socket to charge it. Thank you.